What I would like to do now is to introduce our guest speaker, and we're very thrilled to have Tim Knight. Tim is the CEO of Rapports LLC. He's the owner of the Sun, which is the owner of the Sun Times Media, the 40 newspapers, and the Chicago Reader, and is an investor in High School Cube and is publisher of the Chicago Sun Times. Great to be here with all of you. What I thought I spent time with you all today is sharing some insights that we're gathering in this very fast-moving marketplace on how we view this trend, what, we, what, what is being called mobile, local, social, and how it impacts our business and probably is going to impact your business. So, so first, you all know it, consumer media behavior is changing. All of these people now are consuming news and information much differently than they have in the past but it just continues to become more and more dramatic. So the first 10 years, we call it, was kind of the advent of the cable fragmentation. And now it's really pure digital. The, the opportunities that people have now to get information and consume media is beyond imagination. Between e-books, smartphones, iPad and other tablets, the, the more the, la the, the laptop as opposed to the desktop, as well as just you know, consuming video on different devices too. So the, the trend that we've been studying is this mobile local socials. Some people call it lomo so. Uh, we start with mobile because it's the emergence of the phones and the technology and the, and the internet capacity for those phones and the high speed wireless, which is really changing how people and local businesses are engaging with each other and consuming information. And then we have the whole advent, which is, which is very new, which is the last three to four years of social. So mobile. So by 2013, 1.7 billion in the world will be using mobile internet services. What's interesting is mobile brand exposure can be much more effective than other media messages. And so because people are spending so much time and they're looking at the device, we're discovering, and, and, and no one's figured this out, different ways that we can help communicate advertising messages on the devices. So there's a, there's a whole new world, and you, know, you might be seeing it too, but, but what we're finding is just people trying to figure out, and ad agencies uh, in Chicago and in New York haven't figured it out, how, what is the creative that you place on these devices that interact well with people? It, 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 is, a, it is a new frontier for the creative people and the, their marketing partners to try to figure out what does it look like? What does it have to do to get people to interact with it and understand your branding and marketing message? So this one is, is a very positive as you try to, to, to navigate this world, which is there's 60% more, so mobile internet users. So again, people who use their mobile devices to access the internet are 60% more likely to be open to mobile message, advertising messages than just pure data users. iPad growth is three times as fast as the iPhone. So the iPhone was the fastest growing device in history until the iPad came about. So this is quarters after launches of, as, as they grew. So iPad, and, and you might remember the old iPod, which is the nice little green line down here. You know, the iPod, we, we, we all had our shuffles and our regular iPods, and, and Steve, Steve uh, Jobs revolutionized how you got music, and he's, uh, he's done better than that. And then the interesting thing are apps. And candidly, we're continuing to try to figure out how best to use that. But what, what this shows is cumulative downloads of iTunes music versus apps. So again, you know, Steve Jobs and Apple revolutionized the music industry in the mid-2000s. That small yellow line, we see a lot of news and information apps that are extremely popular. So all of this pulls together how mobile is completely revolutionizing the way people consume information. And then we think about the local aspect. And, and this isn't a trend just because it's what I do is I run local media operations. It's a trend that the venture capitalists in New York and San Francisco are looking at because they see how the devices and information is being delivered differently. So from a, an economic standpoint, so in 2010, online retail ad spending, which represented about 15% of total local advertising. In 2015, it's expected to grow to 24 billion and be the dominant piece of the local 
ad spending. So local online will be 24 billion, surpassing newspaper advertising over the next three years. And so, so where do these dollars go? So this, this is using 2010 information that roughly half go to internet only sites. Businesses built from the internet, about a quarter go to newspaper related online businesses and the newspapers itself and then the rest is fragmented along other traditional media. So that's mobile and its influence on local. Now we're going to talk about social, which is we all think about Facebook, you have LinkedIn out there, and then you have just a, a continual, very fast changing environment. That, that, those are five and six year old companies that are introducing new ways for people to communicate. About 67% of all internet users are using a social media device at least one time a month. So people going to, somehow using a Facebook, Twitter, other social media account. Obviously highest penetrations of, amongst the younger people, although you do see over 50% of people 45 to 64 using mainly Facebook accounts to communicate with each other. Smaller percent using LinkedIn from a business standpoint. We're very early in on how social is working, but it is something we all have to figure out because it is changing how people communicate with each other. We look at mobile, social, local, business momentum. How does that all come together to drive our businesses forward? 94% of smartphone users have looked for local information, so that's what they're doing. And 90% of those people have taken action as they've looked it up. One thing that, as from our company's perspective, that we're fortunate is that local websites, local media websites, local newspaper websites, and primarily uh, are still a great place for a launching pad for people to take off and, and do action. So uh, almost half of the people um, you know, took some action after looking at an ad on a local newspaper website, and then 24% are more likely to act on ads on a local newspaper website. Great opportunity for us, but then we, figure out, we need to figure out how that works with our mobile. It's, it was six months of us listening to our customers. And so we, we did focus groups and surveys and talked to people. Based on, on the feedback, you know, we were able to add more color, add more photos. And this is an ongoing process. Use styling and layout that is, takes the best of the internet, put it on the paper, and then, then start developing a bridge because we know people are going to be going to the internet, whether it's desktop, laptop, or on a mobile device. We have an insider's guide here. This is, a, this is essentially the index to the paper. The next is the, the go guide, which is our entertainment. Uh, we have coding for whether things are for families, young kids, uh, toddlers, uh, you know, uh, other primary school kids all the way up. And so try to make it easy as a guide, much like the internet does, for you to navigate what the opportunities are in your community. Sports is huge, and as we think about digital, mobile coverage of sports so that the next couple slides is we, we launched for this football season across all of the Sun Times properties so from here to Joliet out to Aurora and Naperville season pass we purchased an interest in a company called High School Cube so High School Cube does live video of schools and we're, we're, we're growing that we launched Splash for us lifestyle fashion society coverage Sun Times as well as in the Pioneer and Naperville Markets is huge. And then we launched a iPad app for this as well. One of the ways that we're, we're really helping to figure this out, because mobile is so important, is we're able to create products for people where if they have a website but they don't know what to do with mobile, we have a partner. We're able to create very simple entry level mobile websites for businesses to at least start inter interacting and engaging with their customers and the like. So we're trying to make it easy using QR codes as a way to help launch this and get people to interact with the mobile sites for businesses in our communities. So what we see is this fast, you know, for us, very fast moving environment, very exciting, has its challenges, but it has a lot more opportunities than challenges. It's all about technology, it's the mobile, you know, how do we use mobile smartly? Uh, how do you make sure that we're engaging with businesses on a local basis and they're, they're uh, mobile enabled? And then all of us trying to figure out what social means. How do, you, how do you share information? How do you make sure that people are saying your business is a great business uh, on your Facebook account? I had a wonderful relationship there. That's the viral aspect of it. And people who do that well are seeing their business grow, are getting more stronger relationships with their customers and are growing their customer base. So thank you.
Uh, 